Hey guys, welcome to uh, Stock Sniper Trading. This is uh, Ronnie and my partner is Dave. Um, I, guys, I just want to do a quick recap of our live London session that we start around 3 a.m. Eastern. And um, just want to walk you through two trades that we set up and that we took. One was the US 30, which is the Dow Jones. And the other one was US oil, uh, crude oil. So I just want to go over them and just give you a quick uh, little, I've already done the top down analysis. So this is what we did um, during leading into um, when we start. And I just want to show you where we executed the trade and why we took the sell on this particular uh, instrument here. So I just want to walk you through it. So over here, this already happened. This was last night um, for London session. But um, I want to show you where we took the trade around 5 a.m. Eastern and how it played out. And I'll also show you um, US oil as well. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy these recap videos, why we took these trades, um, give a little bit of analysis too. So over here is where you start to see um, the move, uh, or like here is pre-London, then you get 3 a.m. So 3 a.m., this was the London push uh, at three, right away 3 a.m. And then it scaled back down and it held support right here at this level, 33,200, a bullish engulfing candle around 3.15. And it continued to take this trend up. Unfortunately, we never took the buys. We were doing top-down analysis at this time, but it doesn't matter. If you still have to be patient and disciplined as a trader, if you miss a trade, you can still map out the, um, to continue your charting and look for maybe another another trade to take. But there was most snipers that started the session early and they were already in the buys. So um, we kind of don't like to buy the highs of like fear of missing out or FOMO because sometimes when you buy the highs, then it starts to retrace down. So I'm going to take it from here over four o'clock, what happened over here. Um, and then to show how extreme um, RSI. So this is a technical indicator RSI well, relative strength index. And uh, it's just used to help um, complement your trading. And you can start to see it was peaking at 80, uh, 80 again, uh, just above 80. So it's in an extremely overbought area. So eventually this thing may come down to retrace and the strength may cool down, but you have to allow the price action to come to you instead of forcing trades. So what what we were looking for was um, basically maybe to start to break this area over here. So if I just uh, play a couple bars here. Okay, so what we identified when it came into this area um, around four o'clock a.m., it's we were we placed this supply box above here. So we started to see it was overbought um, from London market open. It made a big, big move to get up here, but then we started to see it maybe consolidating in here. So what we were looking for was a break of structure at this hourly level and for confirmation of also candle to close below and uh, retest this area to, to continue to get the drop. Um, and then we're also looking for maybe like a double top. Okay, so this was the first move that came up and then it got rejected. So maybe we're looking for one more attempt to try and break and grab some pending orders up here before they really bring it, start to bring it down. And it's also important, guys, to understand the time. Um, when you're a scalper, it's important to understand the new 15-minute candle that opens, the new 30-minute and the new hourly candle. So we were leading into 5 a.m. So we were waiting to see how it would react um, at this area around 5 a.m. Okay, so you can see it's still consolidating in here and it's going sideways. So there's red, green, red. So this is not an ideal area to trade. It's an area that you want to establish on your charts and understand what consolidation is, understand it's accumulating, uh, understand that the market is just cooling off before it makes its next move. And it's good to understand the time. So it's here it's a quarter to five, 4.45 a.m. Eastern. So we were interested in leading into 5 a.m., the new hourly volatility, uh, what would happen. So you can start to see here, that we are making a move where it is coming up retracing back down so what we're looking for is like one more move up here and then to start its descending move coming down um, and so let's just play it lead it in okay so i'm gonna stop it right here so you see how it came up for that double top up here uh it came up it got rejected came back down, formed the neckline at the hourly support, came back up second time, back up into this area, and then it's starting to push down, starting to look like a capital M. So it's uh, illustrating that there's two tops up here that got rejected. So there's no volume 
um, coming above this red area. So we're starting to see that supply is taking over the market and controlling and absorbing all of this bullish liquidity that's coming into here. So um, you can take like a feeler trade if you're speculating as a sell up here in the supply area. But more for confirmation, what we're looking for is 5 a.m. now. So this candle is 5.05. So we're leading into the hourly now, the new hourly volatility. And this candle actually closed below here. So now what we're looking for is just a retest candle. Uh, might come up, retest, and get rejected. And as, this is also a trend line that was forming from all the way from pre-London. So you start to see now it's starting to get violated over here. So now we just have to wait for our next bar. So this is where we initiated a sell. Um, right over here, we got confirmation, it opened and pushed down. So um, target now for um, take profit and um, where to place stop loss. So on this candle, you can conservatively place your stop loss, maybe 50% of this candle. But if you want to give it more room to breathe, you could be above the previous high over here. Or if you really want to bring it up and be protected into this zone that you've seen, it's been tested quite a bit and got rejected. So some traders will place their stop loss up there. Um, but this move was continuing. And what we're looking for is this area. This area used to be an area of supply where when London opened up, it came up and consolidated here too, then it started to break out. So this turns into an area of demand. It could come down into here and start to play around in this area. So um, this is what we were looking for. So we had that nice drop and then you see the consolidation right back into this area that turned into demand, this green line right over here. So it starts to trade again, it flags, it cools off. It made its move up here then it flagged and then it pushed down. That's where we had to sell. And if you want to look at like the pip wise, how big of a move it is, just that candle alone is about 20 pips. Then the next candle is about 30 plus. And then when it comes down to this zone, you're looking about 50, 50 points. Okay. Um, and that's where you can look to scale out of a trade. You can start to take partial profit or you can keep your trade open. You can bring a trailing stop loss down. Hopefully at this point, you go down to a minimum of break even trade where you take your stop loss to where you entered the market and to reduce your risk. Um, but if this forms into a bear flag and we kind of do not break above this area, then more than likely we have a high probability of continuing to push down. So let's take a look. And then again, look at the time when it starts. So this is 530. This is a new 30 minute candle in the market. And then maybe we're going to continue with bearish momentum. And there it is. Okay. So you see how we consolidated up here and no volume really see the white line. So this was from top down analysis. This was an hourly area, no volume it, it impulse broke out, impulse broke out, impulse broke out, but no volume closed above there. So that's why we kind of identify this area with like an area of supply. So if nothing closes above, then we're going to continue with the bearish momentum coming down this candle right here 6 a.m okay you can start to see 6 a.m new hourly candle close below and here's another candle where we could where we entered the market here too um coming down and just retesting and breaking down further pull back coming right back into this area to the left so this area that was already established in london right over here that little tight consolidated area if you bring this area across then you can start to see how it turns into like a supply area where it comes back up and then big candle continuing to push down the market. So you can start to see where you can take trades if you patiently wait. You don't really want to trade inside this zone. You don't really want to trade inside this zone. You don't want to trade inside here. You want to go with the trend of the market. So that was US 30. That's what we took on US 30. I also want to break down and I'll go a little faster with uh, US oil. Okay. So I want to break down US oil for you guys. Um, for one moment here, I'll get it set up. Okay, so we did our top down analysis on US oil. Um, and this is what we got from it. Okay, so this was our high of the day right up here, $81.44. When did it hit up there? London market open, 3 a.m. So pre-London, it was building higher highs, higher lows, and it really maxed out the move when London market opened up. It made the high of the day, then it got pushed down, and you started to see bearish momentum. So this was our last... Um, 
uh, security. We do five, um, minimum five in London. So this was the last top down we did. And when we started it, this is what we did. We started to see how it was consolidating. Um, we saw London's high. We had this trend coming down. We had this new daily area, this yellow line, and possibly a break of this hourly trend line. So what we did was we trapped this entire area and we were waiting for a break of structure right down here. And we were also waiting for uh, 5 a.m. So it, it's that that particular time in the market. Here's 450, 455. See how it broke? That was an impulse break below, but then it came right back up. So we're still waiting for some nice confirmation to show us that bearish volume can close below. And there it is. So at 5 a.m., we got some confirmation close below. So we can enter on a retest candle. And there it was. See how it opened green, came back to retest the hourly breakout area. And as it pushed down, this is where we hit the sell button, sell, stop loss. Now it's all um, it's all uh, individual where you like to place a stop loss. So you can place it above the yellow line, like protected in this area. You could go maybe 50% of this red candle, place your stop loss, or some traders place their stop loss above previous structure. That all depends on how much you're willing to risk with your account. And um, as it goes down into profit, you can lower your uh, stop loss. You want to get it down to minimum break even and push down. And then you can see over here where the market pivoted over here where it came. And then this is where it bounced and continued this uptrend at pre-London. So that's why we identified this area and it turns into demand going forward. So this is where you could come into here and maybe uh, take some profit out of the market right over here as it comes down. Just to show you, like to illustrate how um, the big this candle is, this is oil. So that candle alone was 30 pips. Uh, the additional candle that dropped down to this area was about 50 points, okay? And some traders have good spreads with oil, um, roughly uh, one to three pips spread. So when you can catch 50 pips on this, it's an excellent move. And what we're looking for is further, if we break this area, then we could come down to this location right down here where it had this double bottom and that's where oil continued to push up. So we may come back down after it bounces, retests and continue to push down. And there's the move on oil too. So we caught this bearish sell off um, when it really broke and each pullback was a lower high. And then you can see when it retests this area, it breaks and closes below here after 5 a.m., retest coming back down, another retest coming back down, no volume closes above this area, $79.80, and then you continue to get bearish momentum dropping down into here. So you can see now that trade is running for over 100 pips. And there's multiple areas where you could enter you, the original cell here, you could enter on each bar. This was another good area to maybe enter into another cell where it Broke, close below, retested two times, and on this candle, it's go time. Take a sell, place your stop loss above here, and run it down into the next zone and see how it reacts down there. Again, if it breaks below here, it's going to push down to maybe next area um, down into here and possibly down into here. So you start looking to the left of the chart to see where possibly next price action could be so you know where to potentially take profit in the market. So this is where it continued to break down. Uh, again, 6 a.m. now. So just before 6 a.m., new hourly volatility coming into the market and it dropped uh, oil for approximately 150 pips. Um, but it all started right here with a sniper entry right there on oil and also with the US 30. So thank you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy these uh, recaps. Um, if you'd like to join the Stock Sniper Trading team, uh, visit our website, www.stocksnipertrading.com. We've got promotions going on right now. We do live London trading, uh, live New York, live post New York. We do right now in the next uh, 45 minutes, we're going to be doing a live New York workshop where we do talk top-down analysis. Uh, we answer all of your questions. We have different things we go over. Um, it's very informative, good session to learn. Uh, there's good volume in, in uh, post-New York uh, afternoon. And um, yeah, if you'd like to join the team and take your training to the next level, this is the time, guys. 2023, it's the beginning to start a new chapter in trading. Uh, we'd love to be part of uh, helping you guys. So if you want to join the team, please um, join the team, join our community. It's growing and a lot of traders are taking their trading to the next level and we trade together, we learn together 
And um, yeah, so hopefully we'll see you guys. And thanks guys for, I didn't want to keep it too long, but thanks guys for your attention. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, I'll, 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 we'll continue to do these type of recaps if you guys do enjoy these um, right after like a session and while it's fresh in everyone's minds to see why maybe we took these trades and things like that. So hopefully it will help you out with your education as well. So thank you guys so much and um, we'll see you again. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone. Happy New Year.